Professor Live, appreciate you guys tuning in to another tutorial. I have so much fun with these. Today, what I want to break down for you guys is the cut dribble, okay? Now you say, well, what's a cut dribble? A lot of people aren't familiar with it. It's the move that's similar to the yo-yo flip dribble that I do where I flip the ball out in front of me, okay? Now, the NBA players call it cut dribble, primarily Chris Paul, John Wall, a few guys like to use this move, and they'll use it in an NBA game situation, primarily coming off the pick and roll, and what it is is a fake bounce pass, okay? But there's an effective way to use it, and I want to break down the exact handwork, footwork, and even show you how to do it out of the pick and roll so you can effectively fake that bounce pass. All right, let's get into it. All right, so for the cut dribble, like I said, normally NBA players use it off the pick and roll situation. Why? Because usually when you go off the pick and roll, it's a situation where you're faking a bounce pass because the bounce pass is thrown normally to the big man. That's just how it goes. You know, typically if I come off a pick and roll, okay, if I'm coming off here and I'm looking for my guy, it's not gonna be a, a chest pass because he can stick his hand up and hit it. Normally, if he comes over, it's a, it's a bounce pass because you gotta, you gotta get under the defense, okay? So this is the perfect time to fake this pass, all right? So here's how it will work to begin with, okay? If I was coming up the court, okay, I would come to right here and I get a screen from my man right here, okay? The key is, the key is once you get this screen, you gotta come right off the defense, okay? Proper pick and roll. You don't leave any room right here because if I leave room on my defense here, now I can't really do the fake because my man's not going anywhere. This fake is to be done to the help defense, okay? The help man right here is who gets fake. So, as I come off the screen, okay? Come here, boom, I don't leave any room, okay? The, the man who's rolling, like he's actually gonna roll, he's on my team, he's gonna be looking for the ball right there, okay? But his, here's his man, the help defense. Now what's he expecting? A bounce pass. So then when we come with the cut dribble, what we do is your hand is on top of the ball, okay? You would fake just as if you were to throw a bounce pass like this, okay? I would do half of that because I spin, put a lot of top spin on the ball here, fake the bounce pass, boom, so it comes back to me over here. Now, a lot of times when Chris Paul does this, he'll either do the cut dribble and be available for a wide open jump shot because this defender will get faked out. He'll sag back. Or, or what happens is, come up here, he'll set this pick, okay? He'll come right off it, boom here, fakes it, he goes over there, he goes over there, and he has a wide open lane to get the layup, okay? So there's a number of scenarios with this, but ultimately, you have your hand on top of the ball, you're putting as much backspin on the ball as you can possibly when you bounce it, boom, so the ball either comes right back to you or it ends up coming in the opposite direction for you to either pull up or finish at the basket. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> 